Anyway, so there was also a short somewhere. Everything worked to start with. I put a battery on it just to see whether the lights worked. And they did, but um, since then, it started to short somewhere. I was going to say dead short, and the something was about to catch on fire. So there's, there's a while to get all this sorted out anyway. So at the moment, I think there's nothing connected between the front and the back. There are three wires coming fore and aft. The red earth um, and live from the uh, alternator, Rex fire, etc. Um, and then a return lighting wire, this green red is lighting for the tail light. Um, so that is all disconnected as far as I know. There's the green red, so that's empty anyway, and I'm not going anywhere. And the uh, brown live feed goes to the Zana diode, but nowhere else. Is that right? That's this one. Yes, yeah, this white one. White yellow. Uh, so, so I'm completely isolated at the front. What I was thinking I'd do is to check out the um, that the Zena diode is working properly. So to do that, I'm going to stick a power supply on. So I've been using this on battery just to sort of test things out, the lights and so on. So I'll take that away for the time being. My plan was to use this cheap Chinese power supply, um, which is adjustable on voltage and current. It's got a current limit. So I reckon if I turn this up to 12 volts, everything should come alive. But if I go over 13, 14, should start to see the Zeno diode kick in and um, current start to flow through that. i just check that that's working the way it should. So, if I turn this down for a start and connect it up and take it from there. Positive to Earth, negative to the uh, capacitor. It's just a convenient place to put it. I'll stick this through voltmeter as well because the uh, the voltage on here is is not accurate. I think it's about a volt out, but we'll we'll see in a minute. Right. See what happens. Actually, at the moment, it looks pretty accurate, isn't it? 1.9, 1.93. Maybe it's better than I remember. So, current. Let's turn the current up. So, we're showing zero current at the minute. Okay, so at 13.8, 14 volts, 14 volts, we're starting to get some current. So this will be going through the Zener diode. 14.5 on here. This is where it starts to go wrong. So this is 14.8 versus 14.5, 14.6. We're up to an amp. So that's 12 watts. So that's going through the Zeno. So the Zeno is starting to collapse. It's reached its threshold and it's starting to pass current. So it should be dissipating 15 watts. We're up to 14.7. This is a 10 amp power supply, so it's winding up a bit. Still going up. But it's flattening pretty much no it'll be some sort of asymptotic curve um, the breakdown of a xenodiode 
So you're up to 15.6 volts at five amps. So that's uh, 60 watts, isn't it? So the Zener should be getting pretty warm now. Let's give it a feel. Yeah, so Zener dial is getting warm. But it seems to be working, basically. That's the, the reason I was doing this. If I come back down, well, there's a lot of voltage, though, isn't it? It's, well, this is way off. This is, as I say, this is not very good. It's actually 15 and a half, and this is showing 17. So that's crazy. But, um, but yeah, 15 and a half volts. So I guess if all the lights are off and the alternator is running full chat, um, it could easily be putting out 100, 180 watts, say, through the Zener. So it's going to be best to run it with the lights on, I think, just to reduce the current through the Zener diode. But also the voltage is going to be quite high. So um, I was thinking about putting a small lithium battery in something really lightweight and uh, say small to keep it out of the way, but um, that's going to get fried at this rate. I think the, the maximum voltage is something like 14.7 volts. They say don't exceed that, otherwise you'll damage the battery. So this is not good for a, Zen, uh, for a lithium battery. But it is working, that's the important thing. So it is holding the voltage at say 15 and a half, say maybe 16, which should be okay for the Boyer ignition and uh, everything else basically. So yeah, we're good to go, I think. I just need to sort out the wiring at the front, of course, for the lights and the horn and uh, see how that works out. But it should actually start. So I could actually try and start it, couldn't I? Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> 